Hey guys, welcome back to Mustang Diaries, my series on the training and transformation of two wild Mustangs. Last video in the series, I worked with Mustang Libby, getting the halter on her for the first time. We worked on lunging, giving to pressure, and direction changes in the round pen. Today's video is a little bit different. I'll be giving an update on the Mustangs one month into their training, as well as providing you an update on a few other things. Hey guys, so I'm currently editing today's video and I just wanted to pop on here real quick just to give you a couple of updates. First of all, thank you so much for 1000 subscribers. I am so excited about that and I really appreciate each and every one of you who watches my videos and who comments supportive things. It really does, it really means a lot. Um, so thank you so much for that. Posting these videos on YouTube is really hard. For me, it's a really scary place to be because you're really putting yourself out there and especially Mustang training, it's almost like learning to dance and then, oh, hey, let's record this on, on video and post it on YouTube. I'm always just judging my technique. I know I have so much to improve upon. So I really appreciate those kind comments who are very just understanding. I'm just a project equestrian. I'm really just learning on this journey and sharing it with you. I'm just the average person trying to learn how to train Mustangs and if you're looking for a professional trainer, then this is not the channel for you. So the other thing I wanted to get on here and say was last week when I went to go make this video, I plugged my hard drive in and it was corrupted. All of my Mustang footage is on this hard drive, unfortunately, and it's going to be between 500 and a thousand or more dollars to repair. So I decided just to say goodbye to all these memories of Mustang training, which is so disappointing because this whole channel was about training these Mustangs. Thank goodness I still do have some content on my laptop. Not a lot, but I have some random training days on there. There might be a little, a few gaps along the way in the training, but I do have some footage and I'm continuing to make footage even today I was out recording. I think I'll be able to um, put out some good videos for you all. It's just a bummer. I had spent a lot of time and effort making them and it's a bummer that I lost them. So anyway, moving on, let's get back into today's video. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. These guys are now one month into their training. Pickup day was exactly a month ago and these are, this is where they are today. So I'm now going to answer a few questions just to fill you in on where they are one month into their training. So we have Libby and Frida. So the first question is, which one is your favorite? I think this little girl, she's been just a pleasure to work with from the get-go. She came around really fast and is just very spunky. But I think in the long term, I think I'm going to appreciate this horse a little bit more. I'm learning more on this one than this one because she's been a little bit more challenging. So I think I'll like this one more in the long run. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. The next question is, what are their personalities like? This little girl, she's much more sensitive. She's very, a little bit more reactive, skittish than Libby is. Um, she's very eager, ready to go, energetic, um, playful all of that and Libby is going to be a sweet girl she's gonna be probably a good trail horse someday she's just very laid back very easy going I think she has a very quiet demeanor so I think she's gonna do really well on the trails and there was one day where she literally I had this garden cart and she literally just like walked right through it like stepped over it through like the handlebars and just like totally chill and relaxed, just went over that like an obstacle and just wasn't worried at all. She's also just very, not very reactive. Excuse me. She's not very reactive. Um, so when a loud noise or bang happens, she's pretty, um, pretty chill about all that. Whereas baby gets a little bit reactive. Yeah. The next question is what can they do so far? So far, Baby is amazing at lunging. She knows how to change directions, pivot on the hindquarters, pivot on the forequarters. Um, she knows how to back. She knows how to flex her neck. We have started picking up her feet a little bit. I haven't really given time to, to that just yet. She's also been out of the pen and in hand grazing and did just fine with that. No problems. She also knows how to yield hindquarters and forequarters. 
Libby so far, I just got the halter on this week. So she's only been in a halter a few times, but she's already doing very, very well, very relaxed about it. So Libby knows how to back up, yield hindquarters and forequarters, lunge. I haven't yet taught neck flexing. I haven't yet worked on her legs or feet. Um, just kind of that the, those basics, but we'll get to that soon. And also just basic grooming. Um, she has lost so much hair. She was pretty shaggy. She's lost a lot of hair um, and is getting a nice clean coat. Oh, you're so sweet. And that concludes this brief update on their one month here in Vermont. My next video will go back to my usual style video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my video next week. New YouTuber problems. You have no idea how long it took me to get set up for this video. And I don't know if you can hear right now, but the fan um, for the heat is on in the house. I just turned everything off, but the fan still goes. <laughs> Yeah. I want to strangle it because it took forever to get this set up.